video is going to be a beauty haul and it's mainly going to be drugstore so I'm just going to get right into it um, I hope you enjoy it some of the things I'm going to show you I'm about to I've already tried some of them I have never tried so if you've tried some things that I haven't tried let me know what you think even if you've tried what I've tried let me know what you think if that makes any sense I do hope you enjoy this video uh, I've got so much to go through and it's mainly drugstore by the way so I'm going to go through the drugstore stuff first before I move on to the higher end stuff. I did some huge online shopping at Superdrug um, and I bought loads of stuff like it's really funny because I think because I bought so much stuff they gave me like five makeup free makeup bags. They're really cool though, they called ha they have hashtag makeup on them, which I think is pretty cool. But like, <laughs> it's really funny, but um, I'm really glad that they gave me all of these because I'm going, I'm travelling soon, so um, they'll come in handy for travelling, definitely. Also, before I begin, nothing I've purchased is sponsored, um, nobody's contacting me to sponsor anything that I'm talking about. I've purchased everything entirely with my own money, just disclaimer. I'm gonna start off with... All these palettes, I bought so many palettes because because we're going into the summer season um, and I'm going to be travelling a lot, I bought loads of palettes, some of them I, well one of them I already have but because it's, um, the palette's broken, like the lid came off so I thought I'd get another one so that when I'm travelling it's a lot easier to travel with and it's one of my favourite palettes and it is Au Natural by Sleek. Sleek have like the most amazing makeup palettes. They're so affordable. They're like £8 and they have how many colours? I think they have like 12 colours in it and they're really pigmented and the quality for the price is just amazing. By the way, most palettes I get are all natural kind of neutral colours. But this is what it looks like. I, I wish I bought mine so I can show you guys what mine looks like because mine is destroyed literally. So this is what it looks like. It's just really beautiful neutral colours. Um, I've actually been using a lot of these shades in this palette on my to do my eyebrows. Um, I've been completely doing my eyebrows in a drugstore way recently. So if you want to see a drugstore eyebrow tutorial, let me know. If it comes with one of these, which I always throw away because I don't like them because they're like spongy like brushes, which are just pointless. I also got another one, which I thought looked really nice. The original palette. That's what it's called. Sorry if I'm looking at the... Um, What's it called? Just because the camera is quite far from me. Because if I'm not in focus, it's going to be horrible to watch. And this is what this one looks like. It's all shimmer colours, except for the black, I think. Yeah, the black is the only matte colour here. And that's what that looks like. It's got like neutral colours on this side, and then it's got like blue greens on this side. And I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter. I did tweet once that um, I've been loving having a pop of green underneath like here my if you want a tutorial um uh if you want a drugstore i i make up tutorial with pop of color for everyday everyday look uh let me know there's gonna be a lot of eye makeup here as well so just let me know if you're interested in that because um most of my eye makeup is drugstore three more palettes and they're all very affordable first of all this palette i did take a look at it i didn't try it though but um i did swatch it a little bit on my hand just to see what the payoff was like I don't think this was even eight pounds. I really, I don't think it was eight pounds. I am amazed. This is by Revolution. Please look at how beautiful and matte and sleek the palette looks as well. And it has like their name there. And it's called the Iconic Pro. I think it's the Iconic Pro One. Let's look at it. I don't know if you can tell from there. But like, look how beautiful it is. I am just truly amazed by how beautiful this palette is. And the colours are so pigmented, it's amazing. The top colours are all matte, the bottom line is all um, kind of a little bit shimmery. It's just so beautiful, I'm like in love. I love neutrals, like I can have 200 neutral, neutral palettes and I'll still buy more. Like these are so gorgeous. And definitely check out Revolution, they have some really cool stuff. I've got some more stuff by them actually. So definitely check them out their stuff is actually I think they're one of my I think they're slowly becoming my fit they are fast becoming my favorite drugstore brand and I think they only sell it at super drug is this concealer palette um, and this has uh, one two three six uh, eight colors um, you can tell from there. and this one is in the shade 02 because there's different shades of this uh, concealer palette so I'm just gonna open it to show you guys Ooh. 
This is what this one looks like and I'm really excited to use this because it's got like really really pale colours um, that you can use underneath your eyes and then you, I've got colours that I can probably use to conceal my spots. Um, so I'm really looking forward to using this and the mirror is so freaking clear like it's so amazing. I'm, I'm pretty sure this was under £10, definitely under £10. I don't think have the, they have anything over £10. The final thing by Revolution is this highlighter. Guys. This highlighter is three pounds, and I think some people were tell, uh, telling me that it look it's basically a dupe for Albatross by Nars, which is like twenty something pounds, and this is three pounds. It has more product than the Nars one. It's very pigmented, and even though it looks white, when you put it on your skin, it's really nice gold. So yeah, definitely check it out. It's only three pounds, and there's so much product, and it just looks so pretty. I've got this Revlon Colorstay eyeshadow palette, and it's got neutral colors in it. I don't know why I got this, but I did. <laughs> but this is in the shade Moonlit. I love anything to do with moon, as you can tell from my word. But yeah, this is in the shade Moonlit, and I just really like the colors, and it's quite pigmented, and it's a nice handy palette to have if you're traveling, uh, so that you'd have to carry in something as big as these. So it's just something in your handbag to carry with you. I've already thrown away the little sponge thing. But yeah, I, I like this because it's um, it's sturdy and it's easy to carry around. And I'm going to be traveling soon, so I need some th little things like this. This one is by I Heart Makeup. And I have the darker palette than this. Like, you've seen it in my makeup uh, tutorials, if you watch them. These eyeshadows just look beautiful. And this is also under £10 palette. Look at it. It just looks gorgeous. I'm still looking in the viewfinder, I'm really sorry. But yeah, look how gorgeous that looks. Like, sorry about the... Ooh, sorry about the shine. Again, another sponge brush which I'm going to throw away. But the eyeshadows look amazing and they're really pigmented. Oh my days, that is so... It's... I literally just touched this brown and look at that. I don't know if you can see from there. Moving on from eyeshadows, um, I've got this sleek corrector and concealer palette. Oh my god, that eyeshadow, I've just smudged it on my hand, it's just like everywhere. It's really pigmented. But yeah, this is the um, Sleek Corrector and Concealer Palette um, in the shade 03. I don't really know why I got this, but I did get it anyway. It's probably another thing that's really good for travelling as well. You get powder, you get a dark concealer, you get a light concealer. I don't know if you can see from there. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't swatched it or anything yet, I haven't tried it, so I'll let you guys know. What I think of it once I do. Hopefully I should be filming a favourites video soon and a lot of these things are going to be in them, definitely. This thing has changed my mascara life. I think it's a new mascara by Max Factor. It's called Masterpiece Transport Transform. This is my old one by the way, I purchased a new one like two days ago but um, it's upstairs somewhere. But like this mascara is the most amazing mascara ever. Not only does it lengthen but it also gives so much volume and it's a really thin small wand and I hate having really really big wands so I'm really happy with this, I love it I think it's like £9 or £8 under £10 definitely this is the only thing I have on right now I don't have on any other mascara usually whenever I do my mascara it's always about 3-4 different mascaras today I only have one mascara on so all I can say is this mascara got me like I'm whipped by this and I'm really like into felt liners at the moment um, my favourite felt up liner, and I'm, I don't really want to mention it, but I'm going to mention it in the video anyway, is this Ico um, liner. This is the most precise dark black eyeliner ever, and because it's so thin, you can get the perfect wing, and I love it. So I was looking for something like drugstore alternative, and uh, because that one's like £15, so I found this. I didn't realise it was going to be this small. This is the same... This is the same range because it's called Masterpiece and it's basically a felt tip liner. Um, I tried it today. Um, it's good but I think I wish I wish the tip was a bit longer but it's really good and it's really black so definitely a good alternative to this. Everybody asks me what my favourite lashes are and these are their favourite lashes. These are my favourite lashes ever. Basically, my eyes, I have a really small like space between my... Basically, my lid space is really small. I can't wear lashes that are just long because they just don't look... They just don't suit me. And I like lashes that are thick and sort of natural looking and short. And these are just perfect. And I sometimes double go double with them as well. Um, these are the Natural Edition 11 by Superdrug. And I think they're around 3 to £4. Pounds. Um, I wanted to get some a really dark black liner. And I always usually buy the um, Rev Rimmel... Um, 
eyeliner, the black one that's really really black, I can't remember the name, but there's a range of eyeliners that are really like pigmented and they're really good. But I want to try something different, so I got the Maybelline um, Master Smoky. It's really really dark, I just put it in my tight line, upper tight line today and I love it. It's very easy to use, really dark, even though I don't think I'll be using the smudge at all. So I really like this, I think this was around £45 as well. A lot of you guys ask me, what's your favourite drugstore product to contour with? My favourite contour product in general is drugstore, <clears throat> sorry, and it's the um, um, sleek contour kit, but I usually use the sleek face form kit because mine has a bronzer in it, but this time I just wanted to get the contour kit because I don't really use the bronzer, and <clears throat> something in my throat, anyway, so this is, I just went and picked up the contour kit, and I got the shade medium, this stuff is amazing, I'm not even going to open it to show you guys because you already know what it looks like, it's amazing. It's very dark, very pigmented, and stays well, and it's very cheap, so I really, really like this. got a concealer here, and it's the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Concealer. Um, I don't even remember, I'm pretty sure I got this in a medium, but it's so light, it's like pale as hell, like really pink as well. I'm not sure if I like it, I did use it a little bit today, but I don't know if I like it. If you've tried this, let me know. I love the packaging though. It looks so high-end and it's really like, it's like rose gold and really pretty. Personally, and this is just personal preference, I always like to invest in my skin. And as I, you, as you've seen today, I, I usually get drugstore eye makeup, even lip makeup and face like powders and stuff. But when it comes to foundation and skincare, I always like to like spend most of my money there. I put more money in my skincare and my foundations than I put in my clothes, to be honest. I spend more money on makeup than I spend on my clothes, definitely, hands down. There is only one foundation at the moment that I can honestly say that I really like, and it's the Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline. I have the shade 220 here. I'm not sure if it's, um, oh, hold on, let me sort of get some in my hand. Um, actually, this might be a really good shade on me. It looks like this. I don't know if you can see, there's a really small swatch here. Um, yeah, this is a nice shade. This is basically my perfect skin shade. It's not darker, it's not lighter, it's just the right shade for me. It's light to medium coverage and it just looks so natural and just, I can't appraise this enough. Like, this is my drugstore alternative to my favourite foundation and my favourite foundation is Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. Do you guys remember when I asked you guys for advice for my lashes because I had a problem? Uh, basically, about in December last year, 2014, I was wearing lashes almost every single day, false lashes, and it completely ruined my natural lashes. Basically, each eye, each lash, like the middle lashes were completely gone. Like they were cut, like they looked like I had got scissors and just snipped them off, it was horrible. And then I stopped wearing lashes and I just looked like I had bold eyes. Like whenever, even if I put mascara, like it wouldn't look like I had anything there and the lashes would just cut to the bottom, like it was crazy. Like I was so upset about it and I was just, I just didn't, I just felt really annoyed about it. Like now, if you look at my lashes, look how crazy my lashes look. I'm so happy because you guys advised me to use a uh, rapid lash. Um, before that, I had been using castor oil for, for months, no difference. As soon as I use this, and I've only been using this for probably like two weeks now, and I have not even been using it religiously, by the way. Probably, you're supposed to use it morning and evening every day. I probably use it once every other day, and it has made the most amazing, amazing improvement in my lashes. I'm so happy. Like. Look at my lashes, they're so long now. Even my mum the other day, she was like, do you have falsies on? I was like, no, they're my natural lashes. I was like, yay. Um, I'm so happy with it. Like, even till now, my lashes are still cut. Like, they're still cut, but they're growing. And they're still not completely grown, but they're growing so fast, so good. And I'm so, so, so happy with this product. One more product from the drugstore stuff, and it's this, this cleanser, which I actually haven't even opened or used yet. And this was, I think, 12 or 13 pounds, and it's called the Hydrating Facial Cleanser um, by Manuka Doctor. And it looks like this. I haven't used this yet, so if you've used it, let me know what you think of it. I'm going to go on to the high-end um, products I've purchased. I've purchased um, stuff on the Essay Lauder Double Wear website and stuff on Boots um, that are high-end. Basically, um, Boots had this 
offer, this 15% offer for any premium products you bought. So I bought a few skincare stuff. Um, first of all, I bought the something I've been wanting to try for the longest time and I've heard really good things about it. So I thought, you know what, let me just take the take advantage of this offer and just get it. Um, this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Um, I am crazy about cleansing balms. I think they are the best way to get rid of your makeup and I like the fact that you don't need an eye makeup remover you could just use it to remove your eye makeup, eye makeup and your face if you want a skincare video on how I cleanse and remove my makeup and how I moisturize and what I use let me know because there are a few things that I've done, I do that I change from my previous skincare routine so yeah I love skincare, I, I love um, balms that remove makeup this was £22 and I know it's quite pricey but I think it's definitely worth it this is what it looks like. It's a really hard like balm. Like you need to wet your hands um, and then like dip your finger in and get some out. That's the only annoying thing I guess with balms because you there's bacteria and stuff. But I haven't had any problem. The balms, ugh, the balms I've used so far, Emma Hardy. Uh, that one probably was the best balm I've ever used. Um, I've also used um, what's it called? The Body Shop. Um, chamomile balm that one's really good if you want something that's a little bit cheaper and is drugstore that's a really good alternative I think that one's like 12 or 13 pounds from the body shop and it's really really nice and it's moisturizing what I love about this though which is different from the other cleansing balms I've used and I've, I tried this yesterday by the way it has no fragrance you, there's no smell whatsoever so if you've got sensitive skin this is the one for you and it's been tested and like all of that good stuff so if you want something that you're not going to react to, I would recommend this because the Moringa Cleansing Balm by Emma Hardy, is that what it was called? Well, the, the Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm and the um, Chamomile Body Shop Cleansing Balm both have really strong flowery scents and maybe some people might not like that, but this has no scent whatsoever and I think that's really great for people that have sensitive skin or just don't like scents in their um, skincare products. So yeah, I love this. Also, when I tried it yesterday, it removes makeup quickly and everything. Also, it keep leaves your skin quite supple, if that makes any sense, and I really, really, really like that. So, great product guys have tried philosophy and recommend any of their products let me know because I would want to invest in some skincare um, so I bought this kind of like tester kit um, which was like 20 something pounds as well uh, it has the 3-in-1 cleanser which is for eye and facial makeup um, it has the micro it has two peels I've never tried a peel before so one of these peels like micro delivery peel so I will be interested to try this. I don't know if anyone if anyone's tried this, let me know. I haven't opened this yet. I haven't tried any of these products yet, by the way. It also came with this time in a bottle thing. I think it's like for you age defying stuff. And it came with the popular Hope in a Jar moisturizer day and night. So I'm gonna try these out and I'll let you know what I think. But if you guys have tried them out before, let me know because I'd really like to know what you think of them. I'm gonna start talking about my Estee Lauder stuff. Okay, there's so many things here. I don't even know where to begin. Let me start by telling you guys how I happened to buy six foundations from Estee Lauder. To begin with, I always, the only thing I wanted to do, I'm so bad when it comes to makeup shopping. I'll go and I'll think I want this and then I'll buy 10 million things. Um, all I wanted was the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. Um, in the shades that I already have because they're almost like they're on their deathbeds both of them so I because I'm traveling I really want new um, foundations so that I, I can use because they're finished so obviously I want to repurchase so I went on their website and I wanted to repurchase then I remembered about this little thing here and uh, I remember using this two years ago and absolutely hating it completely hating it um, and I was just like, oh my god, this stuff is disgusting. I didn't like any of the shades. I tried two different bottles. I tried Rattan and another one. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, to uh, Tony? 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 Is it called Tony? I tried them both. The shades were completely off for me. And for some reason, the foundation always separated on my skin and it looked horrible. And the same thing happened with Revlon Color Stay at the time. I absolutely ab abhorred Revlon Color Stay. Recently I tried a Revlon Color Stay, I can't even talk, and it was okay on my skin but I don't like it, but it didn't separate like it did, so I thought, do you know what, if that one doesn't separate on my skin like it did before, maybe this will work on me now. 
So I thought, let me just buy it. So I did some research for a shade. I noticed that they've changed, they've added more shades. So I was like, oh, that's cool. Maybe now I'll be able to find my right shade because Tawny and um, Rattan were the closest shades to me and they were horribly off. Like they were too orange, too pale, too, well, oh, it was just didn't work for me at all. So I discovered that they have this new shade called Cashew um, and I thought, let me try it. So I bought it and I tried it and oh my god let's just <laughs> let's just say this is probably my new favorite foundation this one has a really nice yellow undertone borderline orange but not so orange and it looks natural but at the same time looks flawless all day if you want to find if you if you have like a busy day and you want to look perfect all day this is the foundation. I thought I had purchased the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, but then when I went on my emails and I was just checking like what I had bought, I had bought this and two of my shades because I, I wear two different shades and I mix them together. Um, so when I went on my email, I check, I realized that I hadn't bought the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, but instead bought the BB cream, which basically looks exactly the same. Let me show you. Oh crap, I didn't get the BB creams with me. But basically, the BB creams look like this. They look like, this is what the packaging of the BB creams look like. This is the double wear light. And I really was annoyed because I didn't want the BB cream. But then I read a few things about the BB cream and it's like SPF 30 and stuff. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe it'll be good because I'm going away and stuff. I tried it the other day, yesterday. I didn't like it at all. It was really greasy. It was, it was just wiping off my face. It didn't last. I don't know. I didn't like it, but and it separated on my face, on my skin. But I think one of the issues that I probably face because of that is because I wore cream before that, and because the BB cream is like moisturizer and everything together, I shouldn't have put anything on my face. So I'll probably try it again, maybe with um, a beauty blender this time because I did use a. Yeah, anyway, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Like this is my favorite foundation ever. I still love it more than Estee Lauder Double Wear. This stuff is the bomb.com and I've got the shade 3 and 4.5, these are the shades I use. This one when it's winter, this one when it's summer and I mix them together when it's just like now. Okay, so that's what I got, I got these. Then once I was in town and then, well, two days ago I was in town and my friend, I had like a fake beauty spot because I always do that sometimes on my on my face with, with like eyeliner. So I had one here and my friend came and said, oh Habibi, you've got something on your face. And wiped my face my face was like a black smudge all through here like it was a horrible so I was like oh my god I'm not walking around like this and it was like the beginning of the day and I had to go to uni so I was like I'm not walking around like this I need and I didn't have any concealer in my bag like I didn't have any makeup with me so I went to Boots and I bought this and this is the Estee Lauder double wear maximum cover foundation this stuff is basically going to wipe your face completely. This, if you've tried um, Elamasca Skin... Elamasca Full Coverage, what is it called? Rich Liquid, yeah, that one. I really like that as a concealer. This is the same thing. I literally bought it to use as a concealer and I bought it in Rattan, which is a bit light on me, but it's okay if I want to use it before foundation. And I always conceal before foundation anyway. So I bought this to conceal and I don't know if you can see, but I've just put that a tiny drop there and it just covers like mad and it sets really really quick and I used that and it just covered everything up so I was really happy so the generosity of Essay Lauder this is why I love purchasing on their website because instead of like in, on, in a store or in Boots or something on Boots website because they give you so many free things they give you mascara, they give you lotion they give me two makeup bags they give me like the, the cleanser, they gave me the more moisturizer, they gave me the perfume, they gave me the night cream, they gave me the eye cream, they gave me so many things. So definitely if you want to buy stuff from I say Lord, buy it online, like that's my advice. I do hope you enjoy this. If there's anything that you've tried, let me know. And if there's anything you'd like to see, let me know. Also, you're probably wondering where these beautiful tattoos are from. Um, they are from dusty diamonds i'll put the link below to the website and this is how they look they're just so pretty and they're just so fun to use i'm this at the beginning of the video but then i took it off because um, my hijab was not working with it but it's this amazing necklace i'm actually in love with it so much this is from dusty diamonds as well Ooh. 
This is from the Steve as well. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Oh my god. Whoa! Ugh. What am I doing? I don't know. I just love necklaces like this that look really tribal. So yeah, definitely, you should definitely check this out. And check their website out for these awesome tattoos. And I put one on my forehead because I'm so weird. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.